So you told Jose about the moonshine? Yes. He's got some plan cooking. How's life treating Good. you? It's a... Here's that, uh, hair pomade you wanted. Well, look at that. Thanks, Morgan. I, I owe you one. I reckon we should both just forget this ever happened. Over some pools and whiskey. Like waves of a day. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Oh, Arthur, it is good to see you. You okay, Mabel? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store, and I ran for my life. You were followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. From my fob, sir. Maka. Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. Here we go. No turning back. Now the fun part. Now, watch me. You know, there's more shame in losing after you lose a finger. You're real lucky. Go on. Now, watch this. It's racing. around Mr. Strauss How are you
Well, well. <laughs> Where Sorry did there, he Dutch. come from? I don't know. He just wandered in. Hi, my friend. Hi. Well, then he's ours, I guess. For now. Aww. Uh, that's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Aww. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. <laughs> Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> well, <laughs> what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. A dog! A dog! Yeah, I want to live. One hot head is enough. <laughs> Let him off. Hey, puddle of piss. I thought you were about to see it the one time. That's okay. Stay away from me. Oh, but, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Why are you dressed as a sheriff? All right. That last two I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? 
was riding round a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. We saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? All right, let's do this. Come on! How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So. What were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there. Sit down. <laughs> the hell is he So, you were saying? I ain't like some of them others back there. Sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me, he said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I'd always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up. Beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much further. All right. That'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Whoa. Go the rest on foot. I 
want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. You know, I've been here before. Is that a problem? No, just didn't realize you meant this place. Hey, keep it down. Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed Nick off the alarm and headed this way. Now a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right Ow. here. Heads up, Parker. Here come the rest of them. Your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't on. Tell us where you stash your money, and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here. And don't look back. So, here we are. Some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Find anything yet? Don't want. Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just gotta be other places out there like this.
Come on, the girl. Position for you. Here it is. Fork over what you got. All right, hop on down, nice uh, and slow. All right, all right, hands up. This will be nice and fast. You Let's get, get. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. You might be our dumbest deputy yet. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Huh. I 
I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. Then suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. You can't be walking here. Get out right now. I don't suppose you mind my walking through these grounds. I got a guidebook talks about the big plantation house. Your guidebook's about to get you shot, Yankee. Get out of here. That's real hospitable. Good day. Thank you. 
You Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, they're something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.
Let's go, girl. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Now, what? Fight this mob? We must begin they leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need now. protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the now, food and now. we fetch. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it, all right. Very good, very good. 
Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Ah. Yes, equals, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Hey, oh. His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. Sir. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Well, Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, oh you always was. Bo, little... where are we just leaving? <laughs> well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. But a land of the future. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them together. Anyway, what was you talking about? Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a 
artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <clears throat> I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. You heard about the coach job? Yeah, another run-in with the Cornwall Army. You don't make a convincing lawman. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you.
Hello, Arthur. So, how are you liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. Well, I am sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. We're running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Come on, girl. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. <laughs> this trip ashore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, Maybe some bread or cheese? Oh, you're right up on me there, huh? You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Tom goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Keep it coming, but careful.
Not too fast. You could break the line. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. <laughs> I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. Hey, watch the There's line! There's somebody needs to go to confession. Hey, I nearly jumped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. You here we for some fishing? To. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellers know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Are you coming then? I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that. That with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. You won't catch much if you don't cast the line. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Nope, no. 
Not the big one. Let's keep trying. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. Don't feel very big to me. No, that's not it. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later.
Kid, you got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at, at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some food. Come on, it's this way, on me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No, well, yes, but... No, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler. Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. Hey, 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 I, I don't know if we want to draw attention to ourselves like that. Mr. Morgan, you wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does.
Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house. Down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? I don't think this is the place to be leaving the horses. church up ahead they're supposed to use it as an outpost heard they got men going between here and the big house all day okay look at this field <laughs> imagine getting caught up in a fight like this yeah I don't care to Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. Where we're going's close, but you'll need a mount. You were saying? We don't know that for sure. Let's have a show. Yeah! Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Easy, easy. Ain't he gonna ask questions if we get any closer? I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. <sighs> got a Gatling gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. Hey, we came all this way, so... Can you look again and see if you spot anything? Down by the road, we'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? Hey, move that scope over to the right. Shooting the stealer? Can you look again for me? Prepare for your guns and your money. 
Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing arms. There might be guns in these wagons. I think the water's got to this stuff. This ain't worth taking. This stuff's too old to bother with. Hey. Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp.
to get these back. Come on. G up. Fall in. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons! Time for talking's almost up! We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lying bastards! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. Go, go, let's haul! Come on. G up. Fall in. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons! We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these fine bastards. Awesome, let's go. Yep. Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth dragon. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. There's no better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... And enough, but enough. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back.
These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur.